with an objective of making travel in NCR faster, easier, safer, and comfortable. NCRTC is implementing a regional rapid transit system, that is RRTS. From passing below the Hindon elevated road to crossing above the Eastern Peripheral Expressway, construction of the first RRTS corridor between Delhi, Ghaziabad and Mirat has its own set of challenges and complexities. Elevated viaducts for RRTS are being constructed to provide an unobstructed path for running the train. The utilities on the ground sometimes pose situations where we cannot go with the standard span. And in such cases, we have to locate the pier at much higher lengths and provide superstructure accordingly. Such spans are called special spans. Generally, such spans are required to overcome railway lines, roads, road over bridges, water bodies, etc. Touching upon a path-breaking milestone, NCRTC has successfully installed the first special steel span of the delhi ghaziabad Mirat RRTS corridor. This 73-meter-long steel span with a height of 11 meter, weighing around 850 tons of steel, weight excluding deck slab weight, has been installed over an Indian railway line with four tracks near Vasundara Ghaziabad. To construct this span, trestles are first erected at set location in the assembly area, which is right behind one side of the pier. Simultaneously, prefabricated segments of the span are prepared at the fabrication yard and transported to the site. Segments of the steel bridge are erected one by one on top of trestles with the help of cranes. Assembly of steel truss begins with the erection of bottom cord members, followed by erection of cross members, stingers, vertical members, and diagonal members using cranes and hydra. These members are joined using HSFG bolts. As soon as the steel span assembly is completed, a launching nose is attached in front of the span. The pulling frame is then fixed to the launching nose. A load of around 50 ton is applied in the form of concrete block at the backside of the bridge to counter the cantilever load of span during pushing. Winch machine is placed at the pulling end and with the help of jacks, special span is placed over Hillman rollers, after which the structure is slowly pulled over the railway track until it reaches the other piers. Once the special steel span lands safely at its destination, the launching nose and the rollers are removed while the span is placed on the piers. Finally, the span is fixed on spherical bearings. Fabrication of these steel span are so fine that they don't need any finishing post installation. Because this is a composite girder, deck slab will be casted on this span. Next phase of the track laying and the OHE work can be done right after the installation of the deck slab. Deck slabs can now be installed using sacrificial shutter on this span, making it a composite girder steel bridge with enhanced load resistance. This span has been installed at an approximate height of 14 meters from the ground. With a high skew angle of 55 degrees between the Indian Railways line and RRTS line, this has been aesthetically designed and rests on piers on both sides of the railway tracks. The process of fabrication, transporting and launching of such special spans of huge sizes and having hundreds or thousands of tons weight is very complex and hazardous. It requires very special skills with the team and the engineers who are doing it. In this particular case where we were crossing four lines of railways, the availability of overhead lines the high speed, uh, very busy railway corridor and winds made the whole thing very complex. I am happy that 
NCRTC team in coordination with railways did the work in the minimum possible time in a very meticulously planned manner. The steel span has been installed in such a pre-planned manner that its installation completes the construction of the RRTS alignment in this area. Fabrication of another huge span of a length of 150 meter is underway right before the RRTS alignment reaches Ghaziabad station. With progress through speed as its mantra and a vision to deliver India its first regional rail project, NCRTC is all set to overcome any such challenges that it comes across. Gati se pragati.